I can set it up. Yeah, it's. Let me get the spring deck going. I think it's trying to set up the other screens right now. All right, we should be hot and live. I don't have my laptop out right now. Wanted to make sure I had all my parts for this. We're gonna try to go through this. This is not gonna be a super long stream. Wanna make sure everybody can hear me? Let Miss BBT know. See if these come back. Huh? Yeah, the table is a hot mess. Yeah, it says it sounds good. So last time, how many did we get up to? So we got the 21 last time. I'm going to fire that up for I can see your guys' comments. Right now it's trying to boot up. I think I got like 23 or something in there right now. We've been trying some different configs this evening. Uh, I first plugged everything in, turned it on, didn't boot. So I was trying to get ahead of it a little bit with everybody, but so right now we're stair-stepping it. Um, and right now it's, Windows is still out of black screen. It, it came up, it was trying to, uh, that's what you guys were seeing right when you first logged in. Um, I, it sounds like it's spinning each of the cards separately. Uh, we're gonna give it a few more minutes and then we'll have the air comes up. We'll, uh, sometimes it's just patience with these things. You can see, see it blink in there and just blink off again. Since I added a couple cards, um, the way AMD works um, is if you change its configuration in any capacity, um, it will rejog that driver across all the graphics cards. So you could have a perfectly running machine and then you're going to turn right into where that perfectly running machine has got to go right back through and go through and load that driver on each of the cards again. And that's kind of where we're at right now as we just started the episode. But I'm trying to take it past where we were just at. Uh, I'm getting logged in right now. Can I move this chat up to the top? Uh, yes. Just drag it. You want to see the card? Oh, there you go. So the build we have right now, it looks like uh, it's finally starting to come back up again. Uh, we'll go through that real quick. So we have essentially, uh, let's see, 12, 13 cards over here. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. We got 11 here. I had two more that we could put in there. So we got 11 already in a case that we're just feeding over to the board. And then we got um, 13 on this row right here. These are all the RX 470 Sapphire Mining Edition. They have no IO on them. And then the cards that are green in the front are the P10690s, um, which is equivalent to a 1060 NVIDIA, which is a requirement for the B250 Mining Expert motherboard. Um, so that's our current configuration right now. We have enough cards physically here. We have 39 cards. So we're using these little, uh, we're gonna be using a few of these adapters. Let me switch over to scene three if we can. Oh, you moved and touched something over here. And now my stream deck doesn't work for them. Gotta get focus again. If we go to this view, we're using this little adapter. We're going to be using a few of these adapters. It's essentially a, you can see it here, a PCI four-way. I don't know if you guys can make out that. Maybe you're in full screen or not. But it's a PCI U, uh, EUX 1.4 version 2 uh, four adapter. It just goes in the PCIe slot, and then it gives you four essentially riser connections. So instead of using the little ones, you'd be using this guy. So that is one of the uh, the few that we have here that we're using tonight. We actually have one of them plugged in right now. 
with uh, two, three, we got three cards plugged into it. So right now everything is in the machine. Every slot is being used. Let's go into this view here and let's just take a count of where we're at card wise. We'll probably have to run the pixel patcher on this one more time. Since we just added some new cards, it's trying to fire up the thing here. Yeah, we got some uh, some cards here that need the pixel patcher. So until we do a count here, let's do a pixel patcher, which is, since some of these cards are modified. Again, the specs of the PC is the same before that we were using on this. I like using the i3-7350K. I like that four, over four gigahertz performance when we're working with a lot of GPUs. And we did bump the memory up um, a little bit. We got an eight and a four gig in there. And we just brought, bumped it up to 12 just because I was seeing in some preliminary testing that we were close to using uh, six and a half gigs of RAM. So I wanted to give it a little more. Um, so it's a, it's a different memory configuration, but that shouldn't matter too much. We're gonna give this uh, pixel patcher a start. Open this up again. And then that'll register the card as good. And then once we give this a reboot, um, we're gonna go ahead and fire up the miner. We're gonna see what we got here. I think we have 23 here right now. So I think, it might be 21, 22. Uh, we'll see, I think I might have 23 in this config. So card mine, and we're gonna do the pixel patcher. Again, we're, I'm gonna try to keep a pretty tight timetable on this one. We got about 50 more minutes. I'm gonna keep this one to an hour, and then I'm gonna I want to do a uh, a proper video dedicated uh, to this effort. I did some recording before this uh, to capture most of the setup and stuff. This looks like a big hodgepodge, but that wiring it was uh, kind of an, an an interesting event. Let's just say. Because we got wires coming for everything to get this many cards around it you kind of got to build a box i didn't want to go vertical with it um just because in this kind of setup here it's not ideal and in a bigger setup if you were ever to do something crazy like this you'd probably want to go vertical with it because this is using up a lot of space Those are the best adapters. Yeah, I saw that. So far, uh, I haven't had any issues with them. Um, I mean, we just have that one in there right now. But we got that one, and then we got uh, a few of the other ones sitting over here. You'll see when we get the other camera going. We got uh, a 1200 watt EVGA P2, a 1000 watt EVGA P2, another 1000 watt EVGA P2, and then over here in this box I got a 750 watt RGB thermal tape, and then we got the 2400 Pan Lee, uh, the Chinese power supply that we've had for a while, just kind of powering some of those cards. We don't got any of the Chinese power supply powering any of this over here. So a well more than enough power. We're running dedicated circuits on each of the power supplies. Each of the power supplies has their own dedicated circuit. So we're making sure that there's no issue here. We're waiting for the reboot here right now. This is, uh, when you do this with this many piece, this many cards, you're gonna have a very long delay getting into Windows. Um, it is, you know, pretty much that. So since that reboot, I mean, that was probably four minutes, five minutes, and that's on an SSD with a, a weird memory configuration, 12 gigs of memory. In this brown rig on the side, you're not using that board, you just pull the rig over to... Yeah, there's no, the there's, the board's not, the board's in there, but there's no, there's no, uh, nothing plugged into that board. It's all, they're being fed out of the, out of the rig into the motherboard here. I'm using it essentially just for a case to hold up uh, some cards for us. Which that would be indicative of this when I show you the device manager. If I was on another board, I wouldn't be. Show, I'd only. I'd be showing having to show you two device managers. Okay, so we still have. It looks like a couple that may be trying to set up here. Not enough free resources. We may be finally running into a resource issue here. Let's see here. Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 
That's 19. We should be okay on these. Just running the actual, uh, you know, let me go to this kind of larger view. I'm rebooting this right now. I want to see if it unlocks some resources. One more, one more reboot after that thing. So we got all the power supplies with the uh, the 24 pins. Them just jumped with the built-in jumper that comes with the power supply. If you ever wonder what that little black box that comes with the power supply is, that's one of these guys. Um, and that is the uh, the jumper that allows you to turn on and activate the power supply without uh, doing anything crazy. Um, that is not daisy chain, which is a typical setup if you're going to be doing uh, multiple power supplies like this. You daisy chain them to where when you turn on the first one, it, it activates all the rest of them. We're running hot on all of these right now. Every power supply besides one of the 1000 P2s, which is plugged into the motherboard, which is how, we're, how we can power it on, is the only one that's actually on a connection of the power. Uh, all the rest of them are just left hot. Uh, for this experiment, let's just say. Um, this is not a rig that you would keep running all the time. This is more just... No, this is more just seeing where's the limit with Windows yes. right now. This is not something you would use on a day-to-day -day basis. This is for demonstrations. Yeah, I would not recommend this setup. We're, we're, we're waiting for Windows to come back up to see if we can get all those resources. Uh, if we can't, we're going to yank a couple... Uh, we're going to do a DDU on it real quick and then try uh, try to have it do it that way. Anytime I have a resource conflict like this, um, I always uh, go back to a good known state, which is doing a DDU on it, letting it, letting it rip all the drivers back off of everything, and then we'll let it set it up quick. The new uh, Windows 1709 uh, Fall Creator update has uh, a pretty good uh, piece there. I'm going to make sure on this window here that you guys can see that screen. Purchase those daisy chain connectors. Um, we will put a link out on that. They're actually on our website that links you back to where we get them on Amazon. Video number two. Here we go. trying to stand between the boxes. This is really just to show me an indicator that this is up when we're on this screen. No, we're, 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 we're good. Um, I just wanted to make sure that when that screen's up, I wanted to see it. So we're gonna come over here and see if we saw a resource conflict. Or if Windows figured itself out. Still have a resource conflict here. I'm curious of what's running right now. What if we're going to do uh, real quick. Uh, I do have uh, five, six out, or it's in a beta. I released it out to the guys in the Discord last night. Um, we're going to see what we have active right here right now and then we're going to do a DDU on it real quick. So in the version 5.6 I do have the new latest miners for everything. So there's 11 uh, AMDs and then we should have the 8 NVIDIAs which will give us the 19. We have 19 total cards. And then we're at 471 mega hash. So that was where we were at 19. Uh, right now, we're going to now do a DDU. I was just making sure all that was still firing up and that this thing's actually functioning. So we're at 470 mega hash right now on this rig with the 19. We're going to kill this. We're going to go into card mod. We're going to go into DDU. And we're going to do this device driver uninstall. 
Actually, before that, we're also going to open up the uh, device manager. And we're going to try to remove some of the... Uh, we go in here and we do a show hidden under view. I'm going to remove... Uninstall device. All these grayed out ones. I'm just pulling them because sometimes it'll just it'll even though they're not enabled, it'll it'll still resource grab. Or at least for what we've seen is it leaves some kind of input in there that, that it's holding a resource. I've removed these before and rebooted before and it's made the card works. So we're just going to get rid of a couple more of these references. One more here. One right there. And what these are from is whenever you plug in your card and you remove it, and then you put it back in maybe another slot, it does like a device driver ID, like a GUID ID for the actual input outputs of that card in the particular slot. Okay, so all the Radeon ones are now removed. Not too worried about these other ones. We can close that. Now we're gonna do this. We're gonna launch this as normal. We're gonna clean the AMD only driver. And then I'll, I will install the latest uh, blockchain driver or the latest driver that's out there and it'll it'll install it really quickly to one card and then we'll do the uh, pixel patcher and then we should have uh, at least back to 21 and then we'll stair step one card I already have other cards ready to go we can pop the riser in So this will give this a reboot real quick. We'll go back to here. I'll give you some guys some close-ups of these cards if you want. While we're waiting. And pivot this light where I can see. Get a decent look on this. These are the Sapphire Nitro mining cards. I mean, they look a lot like the regular Nitros. Nitro Pluses. They're a single 8-pin dual fan, no backplate. Again, no uh, I.O. at all on these cards. It's just a vent where the fan comes through. There's no input output editor, or no, no uh, ability to have like uh, HDMI or anything plugged into them. They are essentially daughter cards. We have a detailed breakdown of the Man Lee card. Looks like Windows is back up. We're going to go into the device manager. Here's all those adapters. We're going to go into one of them. We're going to update the driver. We're going to browse. We're browsing to where we've un unzipped it, which is this top driver here. This is the non-WHQL driver. October 23rd is the one we're using. That should go through, do its business. This will happen pretty quick, uh, relatively quick, maybe three, four minutes. And then we will do a DDU, or do a uh, pixel patcher, then we'll reboot it, make sure all 21 work, and then I'm gonna stair step by putting another uh, card in here. Another uh, riser uh, expander. Because I already have four on another setup over here, ready to go. We bring this up here. We got a three uh, slot one here, I have an extra spot there. And then we have a four one here ready to go. That's these four these four cards right here. 
that are good to go um, and set up. Let's see if we can reposition this. Rip anybody with motion sickness. Can you answer some questions why uh, AMD is doing its business? Quite the ride today. The uh, no uh, 2x little uh, roller coaster ride with Bitcoin. We, I want to validate that we can do our 21 again real quick with these cards set up because we're using a different riser and then I'm going to add an entire other riser to it. You're saying now they can find the AMD cards but they're not finding the NVIDIAs in the stores. The NVIDIAs? Yeah. Did you do a Vega XMR video? No, we haven't made it to the uh, NVIDIA XMR video. Our, uh, I'm trying to make sure the multi-miner is all the way updated. I got a beta version of that out there, and then I'll do the XMR video. I just haven't had time to get to it. Would that board work with 18P106s? No, I don't think it would. And I'll tell you why. Maybe if you're doing uh, the... Uh, Linux, maybe. So first off, I don't know if it'll initialize with, with, with that many, but I have two more. Uh, when we got bought a pack of these, we bought them. We bought ten of them. It's just they came in a box of ten. If you wanted to order, you had to buy ten more. Um, so we just did one box of ten. I want to make sure they were working. So we have two extras here. I had these plugged in earlier when we were doing some testing. They were found. Windows booted up. It loaded the driver, it showed the 10, but anytime I try to run anything, uh, it would crash. Even if I split them, it would crash. So I don't know if it's just this man Lee, it's the driver with the P106 with Windows, with the special driver that this has to use because it doesn't use the factory uh, normal out of the box that I can download from NVIDIA driver. It might have something to do with it, but um, when we ran 10, it didn't work. Uh, eight, 8 seemed to be the, the sweet spot on this board for the P106s. Now I know people have ran 1060s all the way up to 13 uh, plus the are uh, all the way up to 11 with the uh, P106s and that works fine. So it all NVIDIA rig. I've seen people post with this board work and it all work. Um, I think we're the only ones that have posted with RX cards, RX mining cards anyways. Um, but we've shown that that works also. Um, but we've only used the mining cards. I haven't, I haven't used any other, uh, like retail cards. We just haven't been picking up any of the retail cards lately because we've been trying to do the different mining card series to see if they're really worth it or not. I mean, from a power usage and from a, a heat output, you, uh, the mining cards do not put out as much heat. All right, we're back. Windows is back up. I'm going into Device Manager. Let me switch the scene here. There we go. Oh, we're still having a resource conflict. So the only difference is the riser card that we're using is a different riser card. But we're getting a code 12 resource issue here. which is unique because uh, before we didn't. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna kill this, shut it down, we're gonna do some, a little bit of refactoring on the card situation, uh, on the slots, and we'll actually bump it up over 21 uh, and just see if we can get it to post. I'm gonna leave it on this screen while I do this because that way you guys can see the post screen as I'm going through the troubleshooting of it. Again, this was a, a challenge to try to see if we could break the 21 limit when I plugged in all 30 plus cards, it actually did not even post. 
So at some point, I'm, gonna, I'm taking a safe assumption we're going to run into a PCIe limitation on PCIe lanes. Off. Where's your 1070 Ti? 1070 Ti is hasn't been delivered yet. Did you pixel patch that? I did. I did pixel patch it. Uh, the Windows update with, uh, a Windows update with the, um, what, 1709 changed that, that whole game to where now it supports, we're going to try this, it, it'll support, uh, well, we're, we're testing that right now, actually. Stay tuned. So far, we're up to 21. In previous videos, too. Yeah. I'm seeing if we can get this in here. The, the, the plugging of of cards in this is a very interesting proposition because of the amount of you know that put in the amount of uh different riser cards and power situation and they're asking if you need to put the thread ripper in this so it has enough PCI <laughs> well, the thread ripper, the the board that comes with the thread ripper doesn't have any slots in it. I mean, any of the comparable slots. All right, we're showing one down there. So we should have been green across the board, and we weren't. I'm going to let Windows come back up. We're going to shut it back down. And I'm going to see if uh, it's just a riser that's not wanting to play ball here. That's the one good thing about this board is it does have the feedback. None that I've seen. I mean, I've had those cards like that in these kind of rigs for forever, and there's been no issues with them. The only thing that happens when you have them free floating like that, where there's no, it's only doing the front tension, is the little padding on the bottom falls off. Uh, if you actually have a board underneath it, I don't think we got any further. None in there either. Okay. So the main slot, it's not liking that. Four banger. Let's try. 
Again, this was going to be a, more than likely just some troubleshooting. I tried to do some of this ahead of it, but we kept hitting 21 and then not, it not wanting to post. But there was more iterations that I wanted to try, which is what we're doing right now. But, I mean, there may be a hard limit at 21, and we're just finding it. And we just lucked out that night that we did it. I'm looking for my razor pack. Here we are. And... Just longer, deep testing needs to be needs to occur. Give this guy. Now this board really likes those P106s in very specific slots. And if you play with that configuration and change it on them, it does not like. some of that action. In addition, when I have this kind of problem, so that when you run in with hot power supplies, meaning they're already on, sometimes you need to power everything down, let everything drain out, then flip everything back on, and then it'll work. And it's because it holds that power state. Like right now we're not even posting. They're so, asking if you can give a recap. Like show a block of cards and show what their the power supply they're plugged into. Maybe talk about the board and see where everything's plugged in there. All right, rolling. I'm letting them all drain out real quick, and we'll we'll walk through that while we're letting all the power drain out. So, essentially, right here in the center, and we'll I'll go this way with it, and then we'll explain it. So, in the center here, we got two power supplies: one right here, one right here. 1,200, 1,000 watt power supply. The 1,000 watt is plugged into the board, powering the board. The board and those eight. Um, P106s. Then we have the 1200 powering nine of these on this side, which is the RX 470s. So we have nine uh, of those being powered by that. And then the remaining uh, cards on the 13 over here, which would be the four plus those three there, which is the seven, is on that other 1000 that's back here. So we have a thousand watt power supply here, back here for that. And then the, the uh, 13 well, potential 13 cards, right now 11 cards over here in this. There's 11 in there right now. We have two pulled out right now. Um, it has a 750 power in the board, which there is no board. I mean, normally there was a board in there, um, but we pulled the 750 just powering a couple risers right now. The 750 is hardly doing any, any work at all. And then the, tw the 2400 watt uh, China power supply is powering the 11 pretty much from the riser and the tops of the cards. So that total uh, with just 11 would be more around 1100 watts total system uh, power usage there. Because those are about 90 to 100 watt, uh, 89 to 90 watts of power a card um, under these circumstances. So way under the power limit. Each power supply has its own um, dedicated circuit. These three EVGA supernovas are all on 30 amp uh, direct connections back to the power bar that's back here which you guys can kind of see so that's a 30 amp 240 power bar running extensions over from all the power supplies over there and then this guy here has three separate circuits because it's got two for the, the 2400 watt power supply both on independent 20 amp circuits and then the 750 has its own independent 20 amp circuit so Everything has its own circuitry, um, just to give it enough uh, overhead if we needed it. All right, so we're powering all this up. The CPU in there is not in the description. The CPU is not in the description? I must have backed through that on accident. Intel i7 uh, 7350K. And now we're going to power this up. Everything's turned on. Let's see if we get it to post. It's 
posting now. So we weren't posting before. That's that whole part where I'm talking about take all the power out of everything, just power everything down, let it set for a second. Okay, we got everything besides the far right. We'll go with this for right now because I got the expansion card in too right now. So we're just that one there is looks like it might be a riser that's not all the way plugged in. I like when they go from blue to green. Yeah, that's hot. Huh? I like when they go from blue to green. Yeah, the the uh, the Nvidia's have a uh, have an indicator when they when it does when Windows is booting up right now and you can see the the screen. It's, it's we're waiting for Windows to come up as it starts to initialize them. They go to the appropriate thing. Now I switched one of the NVIDIA's over to its own slot. So that one that's blue is just not initialized yet. So once Windows comes all the way up, when that initializes, it, it, it shows me a green, which is kind of cool. That's what's cool about those P106's for Manly is they, they kind of give you a visual indicator when they're good to go. If they're green, they're hot, they're ready, they'll work. And you'll see it here in a second as Windows is popping up. We'll bring it back over to here. Is uh, it's going to go through right now and jog all the all the ports on these and the device IDs and make sure they're dialed in. And you'll see that one that, that's down there. You probably can't see it in the mini view, but uh, it's sitting there blue. It will go to green. We're going to go into Device Manager. We may have to do another DDU here. The blinking here is going to be those cards setting up. So right now I just went to a black screen. That's Windows being Windows. We'll come back here. You guys can see it down there right below the chat when Windows comes back. But a, lo a lot of this kind of testing is this. So I didn't have time today to get all the testing done, That's what, which is good to a point because that way you guys can kind of see the troubleshooting that we go through on this. Um, as we're getting to that kind of 20 minute mark before we're going to wrap this one up. Um, but this is not the end of this, so don't don't fear that, oh my God, well, you know, we want to see 30 cards. I mean, if it, we'll do 30 cards, we will get it to 30 cards. But we're going to keep this one tight to an hour. Um, it looks like Windows is coming. It's probably going to bleep one or two more times. Um, but what I want to do is more of this kind of episode stuff to where when I go through all of our, our emails and stuff as this is setting up, I'm not rambling here. I'm going to talk to you guys through uh, kind of what we're looking at doing here. I'd like to do a video, and you let me know in the chat, where I'm going to have the whiteboard in the background, and we're going to just kind of work through a rig that's in front. And what I want to do is I want to go through, and we're going to create a, a uh, kind of a troubleshooting guide together. So I'm going to map it out like a storyboard. This is kind of what I do um, as for a career when I'm walking through how to model a system. I'm going to storyboard all the potential paths, all the perturbations of a mining rig. We're going to do it together in one of the live streams. We're going to go through potential issues, different things that fix those potential issues, and just go through it stair-stepped in a live stream. That way it's all captured in its full glory, and we'll storyboard all those together. Think of it like it's a scrum session if you're in development. Development, uh, if you're a developer, you have a backlog grooming session. That is when you kind of go through and figure out all the requirements, what's going on with everything. That's what we're going to do. We're going to do it together, because I want to take and solicit what you guys have from what's worked in your experiences, that's what we try to do with the Discord thing. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have a live stream. Might be as early as tomorrow, if not Friday, and I'm gonna have the board here and we're just gonna walk through that together. That will serve as the source information that we can update the site and make sure that information that we work together shows up on a resource area that makes sense. Here we're sitting there trying to put all that together and it's just not coming together like I want it to because we just don't have all that time. But if I can use that time appropriate with you guys as the community and you guys solicit your input, we can capture all that in that video. Okay. Yeah, uh, it's still kind of blinking, but I, I don't see any uh, any links or any uh, issues here. Let's see here, let's do a count. 
in the brown case, you don't have anything hooked up from there yet, right? The brown case is hot. Yeah, it's got. Things. What are the risers hanging off the side? We got a few things that are not plugged in. I don't have everything plugged in. If I had everything plugged in, I'd have 39 cards going. Uh, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we got 12 of the RXs. Maybe the others, so is that 20? Yeah, it should be 20. We're going to validate that we got 20, and then we're going to stair step a few more uh, cards to this. So. The processor again was a i7. The processor's right here. We, this is not required, but we recommend um, once it gets done, it's still obviously setting up something because it's it's pinning it. There we go. Um, it's an i3 7350K. That's kind of the higher end of the i3s of the 7 Gen. It's about $130, $140. It's right here. It's a four core um, processor. Right here, there's two. Well, it's two core and then two virtual. So that's the details on the processor. Um, and we got 12 gigs of memory. We got a four and an eight gig stick. We, I added another four just because we were. It looks like we were on the top. Um, Have you ever tried this? Not in Windows. I have not tried this many cards not in Windows yet. I think Linux has a hard limit, uh, 16 or 18, maybe 19, unless you're using, uh, I think it's actually 15, 15 or 16, unless you're using um, in, uh, is it NVOS or it's one of the NVIDIA ones, I think lets you go to 19. Um, let's see here, let's do three, three let's just validate we got 20. And can you mention again the Windows update that allows you to have more AMDs? Clean the hidden devices. Yeah, we might have to go back in and clean that before we do that. It's a good call. What was that? The Windows update that allows you more AMD devices. Yes, yeah, so Windows update 1709. You have to have to allow you to have this. There we go. 12. We got 12 of the AMD cards popping up. Can't build CL for GP1. So that means it wasn't, it was still setting up. We kind of jumped ahead of the game here and just had it do a, a pop. It wasn't all the way done. And I'll show you guys if it lets me recover this uh, from this. Uh, I'll show you how you recover or you, how you can tell if it's done or not. Well, I didn't check that. I usually go into the, the actual task manager. And then when you go into processes, you can see the AMD device driver manager. If that's still running, you're not done setting up. So... We may have done a hard lock here, which it looks like. And even if it didn't, I'm just going to kill it anyways. We're going to power this down. So we know that we got 12 in there. Um, that would put us to 20. So what we're going to do now is add in. We'd have the 21 on that one on the edge. So what we're going to do is put take this guy here. Which is another riser expansion card with three in it. Let's see if we can get this one that was not booting earlier. Let's see if we uh, don't have to do a full shutdown here. Uh, we're using the onboard graphics, so I'm not disabling that. But well, it's posting, that's a good sign. So I just added another expansion slot. Everything's green, that's a good shot. Got about 15 minutes, guys, and we're gonna wrap this pretend, this one. I know it's gonna be like leaving everybody on the hook. Everybody's like, oh my God, I wanna see 30. Um, but I have an actual, I actually have a, 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 a thing I gotta do at, at 10 o'clock. And I did not want to, it kind of came up out of nowhere. And I like keeping, uh, I have to keep that schedule. So 
we're going to keep this one to a fast uh, one hour of just seeing what we can do. I think there's a lot of potential in this, but it comes down to see this is this long pause here, by the way, is Windows trying to boot up with all those GPUs plugged in. Here it's coming up here. It's all about patience with this. If you're doing this and you're trying to stair step your own setup, you got to let it set. You always say give it at least about three to five minutes. Going to device manager to see what we see. We're also going to open up the task manager. I'm going to watch it. Now that, that that's all the AMD cards having to set themselves up. So all those exclamation points are. This is why sometimes I just do a DDU because it's faster. We're gonna sit there and let this let this uh, do its thing. This should be twenty three cards. Let's see here. We got three. We added three more, so this should we should be we were at twenty. This should be twenty three. Oh, looks like we lost our chat on this side. Got to keep the chat going. <laughs> this is going to blink a few times. What I'd say is that even if we cut this off, because we're going to try to keep that uh, that schedule right at one hour, um, you, if, you guys got to follow. And even if you don't, if you're just kind of stopping here, like what the hell is this dude doing? This looks like crazy talk. Here we'll, we'll put it on a bigger screen for you guys can see the build. You know, uh, a lot of these results. I post a lot of the, the results of them up on uh, the Twitter page. So you can check uh, bitsbytrippin.com. Uh, I'll be putting a Steam It post together on this build. Um, we're going to write up to see what we really can get out of it. Again, a one, one hour live stream just kind of really gives you guys exposure to what we're trying to do with it, kind of the setup that we have. It is nice when we actually break and shoot for the record on it. Um, oh, we, lo we lost the chat on that side too. We did. Just all I need is YouTube one day working. It really, uh, I, uh, YouTube and all the software updates really kind of put you on to keep you on your toes. All right, let's see here. These just 43s, okay. So this one we can fix. Looks like it's just code 43s, good. Code 43s are pixel patcher fixes. Shut that down, restart. Yeah, Tony, I see. I, I, I know the, uh, the hidden devices, but we haven't really removed anything. I've just been adding. It's an interesting gray screen. That's like one of those screens that you used to be able to see like in Windows, uh, I think it was Windows 2000 where it was like, you shouldn't see this. Like literally it was like a box would pop up and say, you shouldn't see me. It's like we do. He said, I need money, or I want money. And the next guy goes, go to work. Again, if you're in our Discord, this is Windows Boot Nut, we're waiting for Windows to come back up. If you're in our Discord, I did release a version of uh, Multiminer 5.6. We're trying to, I, I haven't done a lot of the testing on the NVIDIA side. I've done most of it on the AMD side. I've fixed a few more things. I'll be releasing another version of that later on tonight out to the just the Discord folks. So I'll put it in the, the thing. So if you're in our Discord, you'll be able to pick that up. 
once it's kind of hashed through and people have came back and said, yeah, this all works, this doesn't, then we'll we'll do a final fix on it and then I'll publish it to Steam it and everywhere else will be on the front page of the website. Uh, we have a few more coins that we're adding in there um, and it should be good to go. We're just waiting for Windows to come back up. This might be our only our, our last shot at it tonight, at least on this episode. What, what's Ethereum doing right now? I don't know. I, I know. I know it did a little bounce. <laughs> Not enough. We're still waiting for Windows. This is what happens. Windows takes a sweet time when it's when it's had a page a lot uh, additional devices. The first time after a DDU, the timing's been about uh, four or five minutes. I usually, I, I don't want to go more than five. I'll, I'll do a full reboot. Um, I'm going to give this about another minute, and then I'm going to hard reset it and then power everything down and just reboot back everything back up. The only reason why I'm doing that is because I know when it's usually in its, its wait state, those cards are at least green because it's actually hit them. It hasn't even hit them yet. So, um, I think we're going to give this one a nice little shutdown here. Nah. It was up to like 320 or something today, wasn't it? I mean, Bitcoin was like a slingshot, like almost 8K, right back to, uh, or a, you know, uh, uh, a yo-yo rather, slingshot. So many GPUs. All right, I didn't see this thing post. All right, we're going to do a, we're going to do a power drain real quick. I do. We're going to do one power drain to boot it up and then make sure it works. That's the big boy dropping power. power five power supplies technically six if you count both sides of that 2400 watt yeah I can see the alts doing a little bit of action now there we got we got a post now you can see that whole power down again this is another troubleshooting and then we're all green that's good let's we'll see if windows boots now um, See the big boy. Um, it's been in lots of other videos. What's that? Close up to the big power supply. Oh yeah, if you look at any of our last few videos, we have really close up to the uh, 2400 watt China power supply. So this is a better sign. We're still. You can see the screen, right? It's the wrong side. Down. There. You are definitely not a weatherman. No, I'm, I'm <laughs> right here, this screen right here, um, that is your window screen. So we're still waiting for it to boot, but a good sign is, is those are not blue, they're green, which means they've been initialized, at least from the OS level. So now it's just a matter of letting this uh, windows come up and we'll give it one shot before we shut down. PSU switches and most people have light switches in their house. Yeah. Oh, Windows is coming up. Was the response on? I didn't see any of the response on if anybody liked that idea of the uh, troubleshooting video. Wow. I, mean, I was, I don't know if they said anything. 
I'll, I'll, I can go back and look at the video. Not a big deal. It's like Christmas lights. Alright, looks like there was uh, at least one still getting set up here. Yeah, there you go. That'd be interesting. Have them in a little box. <laughs> You're saying at 10 o'clock I need to step in and show you how it's really done. Woo! Uh, yeah, no. There you go. <laughs> I would break them all. I think it's a good idea, Miss BBT. You know, maybe maybe we'll let you do one video at some point if you want to. No, he was saying Christmas lights. Oh, like Christmas lights. Idea. And if you click this button over here, I don't know what happens. Click. <laughs> <laughs> no, now you're pretty good in the chat, helping folks. Come on, Windows, you can do it. First world problems. <laughs> because that would be logical, and that's not how you roll. No. I, I, I do roll super logical, just not anal ten retentive logical. No, just not. Yeah. <laughs> just not. Ah, Barnacles and I will do a video at some point. This time of year is crazy busy. Yeah, it's just really crazy. I mean, we're trying to we're trying to find a good time that we can both fit, fill in our schedules. I mean, I, you know, you guys can drop in on his channel and tell him that you want him to come here. I, I offered him to come here first, then we would do a build in front of everybody, uh, you know, kind of cradle of grade Barney Clee style. You know, we'll have a whole bunch of just different hardware here for him to try. I told him that maybe a, ten, a 1070 Ti rig, if the 1070 Ti looks decent enough to get six of them or eight of them. Um, Maybe we'll save that for him, but we'll still do our one test. I think we're getting right there at that 10 o'clock time. Um, yes, it is 10 o'clock. Um, where do you have a link to your BTC address for donations? Uh, we'll put it in this channel link, but it's if you go to any of our older videos, we have one in there. Um, which I have it in there, but... Like, uh, we'll make sure it's in this video after it gets posted. We do value that. That's your luck with these. No, that's code 43. So it finished those two. Those are the two new ones that had how many do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen plus eight is twenty-one. So we're we're just at twenty-one. Wah wah. It's a bust. We still got more to do. I have more than 21 plugged in. Four. So there's 19 on the board. All the slots are plugged in. We saw it all green. Then I have a four slot and another three slot plugged in. So we should technically have, we're using two of those slots, so it's minus two, so it's two, three. We should have a total of 24 cards showing up in Device Manager right now, but we still only see 21. So, <laughs> interesting. It looks like we're, at, we're stuck at a 21 limit. Because that's, we got, we 
bring this over. So we got the 13 here. We got the eight P106s there. We got that four slot plugged in right now and hot. This one is not plugged in. And then we got uh, that one plugged in, which is another three slot one. So all the slots are plugged in on the board, which is how what we saw I don't know how. It doesn't matter. You gotta go. Yeah. I don't know why it keeps disconnecting either. Yeah. So, I think bottom line, guys, is it, it was a it's a first attempt at trying to break 21. As of right now, we have 24 four plugged in and it's still only showing 21 even though I have two that are not initializing which that's fine that's a DDU thing with the uh, devices I have to remove and then we should see the 21 with what we have plugged in now but it looks like we're at a hard limit right now because we did see that on the reboot that everything was plugged in and everything's lit green but we have 24 cards plugged in we're only seeing 21 so I, I think this is a, a, a bust right now We'll keep banging on it into the weekend and see if we can get more than 21 um, to show. I, I'm, I'm actually kind of, uh, I, I mean, maybe that's a, just a Windows' new lucky number, no more than 21. But uh, that's over 100 people that need this video. They need to like the video. We're only at 63 likes and we got 170 watching. Yeah, we do appreciate it if you guys just drop a like. If it, I mean, we didn't hit, I didn't, I didn't give them what they want. They want to see over 21. I, we weren't able to do it in this video, but stay tuned. We will have. I'm gonna set up another live stream about this time for tomorrow. Maybe we'll do the uh, the actual uh, walkthrough with the troubleshooting piece, um, and then we'll have an update on this. Um, drop in our Discord. Check out the links below. They have the, the cards here. And then, uh, you know, stay tuned. We'll put another one out there for you guys tomorrow. And we'll see what we can get on this one later on.